I know I'm late, but better late than never. Crow Cat is the man. I like. No, 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 no. I loved the Resident Evil 4 video. 10 out of 10. And I loved when people got angry. The outrage was funny. All over social media, I just saw post after post after post saying he's wrong about the Resident Evil 4 reimagining. Not a remake, a reimagining. And at the time, and still now, I'm just drinking in the tears. <laughs> drinking in the tears, big boy. Heck, he changed the title, then changed it back, and people thought he caved in to the pressure. But people missed the point of the change to the title. People were making videos saying he was changing the audio to make it seem like the original was better. Then other people had to make videos to that video saying he didn't mess with the video audio. Like, people were really trying to take him down. I saw people say he was deleting comments. Well, maybe that's because of the people being rude. So I could see as to why. But I'm gonna leave that one up in the air so i'm not gonna pick any sides for that this re4 game is soulless and it's not even just the game all the re engine resident evil games are soulless they're basically copy and paste but the slight a bit of change and it makes me think maybe i was too harsh on five six and operation raccoon city Though, Umbrella Corps will remain ass. All those years ago, when it was said that the Resident Evil franchise was going to be a yearly thing, I knew it was going to be a disaster. And I have been proven right. Now, I've said this many times. The only game I look forward to is Revelations 3 with the slight RE9. But if it's going to be in the RE engine, I'm not going to play it. I don't know, I'm still debating it. The game I played and will probably only play is Resident Evil 2. And ever since that game, I was not giving up my money anymore. And I know what you're gonna say. How do you know if the games are soulless if you never played it? Well, I don't always need to buy a game to know if it's bad or not. In the end, if you love this trash, you love it. I'm still fine with the people who disagreed with the video, but I'm still not fine with the people who disagreed and brought toxicity along with it. Michael does life set the groundwork and Crobcat took off with it, which led to lots of people seething at the mouth. In fact, I hope he makes a sequel and actually goes in on the gameplay because I just want to see the fanboys and the fangirls cry <laughs> even more. So with that being said, Get your fingers up and say it with me. I hate toxic fandom. Bye.